Welcome to Learn Yourself. Try these sums from page number 148, question number 1. In figure 7.32, measures of some parts of triangles are given by applying RHS congruence rule. State which pairs of triangles are congruent. In case of congruent triangles, write the result in symbolic form. Now, first of all, RHS congruence is right angle. So, two triangles must have right angle common in between them. Then H. H stands for hypotenuse. And S is from the two other sides other than hypotenuse. One side should be equal in both of this triangle. So, one of the side from the other two sides. So, right angle, hypotenuse and side. That is RHS congruence. Now, let us check in this two triangles. So, in triangle PQR and DFE, we can see that 3 cm and here DE is 2.5 cm. So, PQ is not equal to DE. Now, other side that is hypotenuse is equal. So, PR is equals to DF equals to 6 cm. And angle Q is equal to angle E and they both are right angle 90 degree. But here this side is not equal. So these two triangles are not congruent as per RHS criteria. Second numerical. Here we can see there are two triangles. First triangle is ADB and second triangle is A. C, B. So, here AC is 2 cm and DB is 2 cm. So, these two sides are equal. So, here we are writing triangle ACB. So, we are talking about this triangle. And another triangle is this, that ADB. So, two sides are equal. So, let us write that, that AC is equal to DB and they both are equal to 2 cm. Now two angles, angle C and angle D is also equal. Angle C, angle D is equal to 90 degree right angle. Now here AB is common in both of this triangle. So we can write AB equals to AB. So you can write 3.5 or we can write common side in both the triangle. Now let us check as per RHS criteria. Did we got all these things or not? So AC and DB. If we will see here AC and DB. So this is a one side in RHS. This is a right angle. And AB and AB. This AB. If you will see here this AB. This is a right angle. This is also a right angle. So opposite side to the right angle will be hypotenuse. So AB is hypotenuse in both of this triangle. So here we got our hypotenuse. So, as per R, H and S criteria, these both triangles are congruent. We are going to write the names here. In this two triangle, we will see then we are going to write A, D, B. So, A, D, B triangle is congruent with. Now, here we are taking B, C, A. So, here we are taking B, C, A. So, let us check that D is congruent with C. Yes. And CA is equal to DB. So, DB is here and CA is here. So, yes, they both, this both triangle are congruent to each other and we have written the congruency correctly. Third numerical. In this two triangle, we have to see that whether they are following RHS criteria or not. So, in triangle CBA and triangle CDA. So, AC, AC will be common arm in between this two triangle. Common side. Then angle B is equal to angle D as they both are right angle and AD is equals to AB as they both measure is 3.6 centimeter. So one of the side is equal. The hypotenuse is equal because it is opposite to 
90 degree right angle. So this hypotenuse is equal and the right angle itself is equal in both of this triangle. So these two triangles are congruent as per RHS criteria. Now how are we going to write the congruency? So CBA is congruent to so here this CBA we have written this triangle. So we are going to write another triangle that is CDA. Now let us check as per this congruency it is correct or not. B is and D they both are equal. Yes they have come into the middle. Now AC AC they are at the side AC AC and AD and AB they both are equal. AB is here and AD is here. Yes. So these two triangles are in congruency with each other. Fourth numerical in this two triangle. So triangle PQS and triangle PRS. Let us check. So PQ and PR. They both are equal to each other as they are 3 cm. Now angle S is common and it is 90 degree for both the triangle. And one more side that is PS. So PS is common for both of this triangle. So it is equal for both of the triangle. So now right angles opposite side this 3 centimeter will become our hypotenuse one of the other side is also equal and 90 degree right angle is also equal so RHS criteria has been established here this both triangle are in congruence with each other so let us write the congruency triangle PQS is in congruence with now S is equal to S and PS is equal to PS so here we are going to write P R S because R and Q. These two are different in triangle. Otherwise, P S is common in both of the triangle. So P Q S is in congruence with P R S. Question number two. It is to be established by RHS congruence rule that ABC is in congruence with RPQ. So here our triangle is ABC and RPQ. Whereas angle B and angle P they both are 90 degree. AB and RP they are equal. Now what additional information we, re we needed here that for RHS, we required right angles to be equal. That we have, that is angle B is equal to angle P. Then one of the side has to be equal. So that is also we have that AB equals to RP. Now one hypotenuse. Hands for hypotenuse. So hypotenuse has to be equal in both of this triangle. So it has to be AC equals to RQ. Then only this congruence will work. So as per. So here we need AC equals to RQ. And then only we can establish the congruence between these two triangles. Question number 3. In figure 7.33 BD and CE are altitude of triangle ABC such that BD equals to CE. So here BD and CE they both are equal and we have to answer the three question. Let us take the first one state three pairs of equal parts in CBD. So it is first triangle that CBD. And another triangle is BCE. So it is B, C and E. This is second triangle. So in these two triangles we have to check that whether three parts are equal or not. So first as they said that in triangle CBD and triangle BCE 
BD equals to CE and that is given into the question that this line and this line is equal. Now D is right angle and E is right angle. So angle D equals to angle E as they both are 90 degree. Now one more line here is common that is this line that CB. CB equals to BC as it is common side in both of this triangle. So yes three parts are equal that this is a hypotenuse. This is a right angle and this is one of the sides. So as per RHS criteria this both triangles are congruent with each other. So second question's answer is triangle CBD is in congruence with triangle BCE. So yes, as per RHS criteria, they both are congruent. Now third question that is angle DCB equals to angle EBC or not? Why? So which angle we are talking about here? DCB. So DCB here we are talking about this angle and another angle we are talking about is DBC. So this angle. Are these two angles equal to each other or not? So yes, these two triangles are in congruence with each other. So corresponding parts are also equal to each other. So as per RHS criteria, these both triangles are equal. So corresponding parts are also equal. Question number four, ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equals to AC. So AB and AC, these both are equal in this two triangle. So AD is an altitude. Now in isosceles triangle, the altitude itself will be a median. Median and altitude will be equal. That means BD is equal to DC here. AD is altitude. Now in isosceles triangle, median is the altitude. Now what is a median? Median is a line segment which starts from the vertex and it will join the opposite side's midpoint. So this D is a midpoint of BC and that's why BD is equal to DC. And so D is the midpoint of BC and that's why therefore BD equals to DC. Now we are starting to answer the question. the first question state the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ADB and triangle ADC. So ADB is this triangle and ADC is this triangle. So in this first of all AD is equals to AD because it is a common side. Then angle ADC is equal to angle A, D, B because they both are 90 degree. Now AB is equals to AC and this is already given into the question. Now if we will see here, this is our hypotenuse. This is one of the side and this is our right angle. So as per RHS, this both triangle are congruent. So our second question is that yes, triangle ADB and triangle ADC are congruent as per RHS criteria. Our third question that is angle B is equals to C or not. So angle B is equals to C or not that we have to check. So yes, if triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC, then corresponding parts are also equal. Fourth question, 
is BD equals to CD or not? Yes, BD equals to CD because in isosceles triangle, the first reason is that I, in isosceles triangle, altitude is the median. That's why D is a midpoint of BC and that's why BD equals to CD. And other reason is because of the congruency of the triangle that this two Triangles are congruent with each other, so corresponding parts are equal. So from this two reason, any one reason you can write that because of congruency, these two lines are equal or because of the median is equal to altitude, that's why also these two lines are equal. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, Please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.